today's topic is measurement devices and instruments so what are the different uh, measuring devices and the instruments that we are having at micro frequency signal so some of them are you are having spectrum analyzer network analyzer slot and line gauge tunable detector vswr meter power meter wave meter so if you are see that all these you will have in your lab generally first and second you will find it in some research laboratories okay as they are very much costly you will not find in educational institution okay you can find all these in the research laboratories like drd now let us see that what is this spectrum analyzer is you have to analyze it with your cro if you are seeing the cro in cro what we are having we are having say amplitude time graph in the cro you will have the amplitude time graph you will have wave of something like this so you are having time and you are having amplitude so as you are having a amplitude time graph in your cro we will say it as your time domain instrument so cro is your time domain instrument on the other hand say suppose if you are going for your spectrum analyzer your spectrum analyzer will be something like this so you will have this is your uh, amplitude and frequency graph you are having a amplitude and frequency graph so as you are having frequency your x axis it is called your frequency domain instrument so this is your time domain this is your frequency domain so your spectrum analyzer is your frequency domain instrument okay the difference you have seen you have understood between these two okay and receiver your spectrum analyzer is broadband super heterodyne receiver like any other receiver so whenever you are going for your super heterodyne receiver you will have the rf section you will have the mixer you will have the local oscillator okay whenever you are going for any receiver whether it is a radio receiver television receiver any receiver you have now you will have the super heterodyne type only so it is your broadband super heterodyne receiver now let us see the different blocks that are there in case of your spectrum analyzer okay so this is the block diagram of your spectrum analyzer you are seeing the spectrum analyzer this is the different blocks these are similar to any other super heterodyne receiver here you are having the rf input generally your spectrum analyzer we can use it for your rf and microwave frequency signal so you are having some rf input here you are having the sweep local oscillator and the first section that you are having here you are having narrow band if amplifier narrow band if amplifier you will have some if frequency generally if frequency will be your 450 kilohertz if frequency will be your say 450 kilohertz okay so irrespective of whatever the input frequency you are having you will have the same difference frequency let us assume that when you are having frequency f1 input frequency is f1 your local oscillator it will generate some frequency that is your say f01 okay such that this difference will be equal to your if frequency that is your 450 kilohertz now this input frequency is changed to some other frequency say f2 frequency so if you are having a something like f2 frequency when f2 frequency is coming this local oscillator will generate some other frequency in such a way that so here you are having f2 here you are having f02 okay so this is a zero this is for your local oscillator so it is generating the frequency f not to 
such that the difference between your F2 and F02 will remain the same. That is your high frequency. That is your 450 kilohertz. Now, if your frequency is uh, say FS, okay, some other frequency FS. So when you are having a FS, this local oscillator will generate uh, some frequency. It is generating say F0. Okay, it is generating the frequency F0 in such a way that the difference of your FS and F0 should remain the same. That is your IF frequency and that is your 450 kilohertz. So, irrespective of type of your input frequency, your IF frequency will remain same only. It will remain constant only. It will be your 450 kilohertz. It is the responsibility of the local oscillator to generate the frequency with respect to your input frequency so that the different frequency should remain the same ok the uh, IA amplifier you are having the detector and you are having the video amplifier the output of the video amplifier it is going to monitor this is the monitor here you are seeing that you are having the graph between your amplitude and frequency so amplitude frequency graph you are seeing in the monitor so this is your spectrum analyzer ok here you are having a sweep voltage generator. Sweep voltage generator, it will generate the sweep voltage to your local oscillator. Okay, and it is also connected to your monitor. We are having two units related to that one. You are having the image frequency. Image frequency will be your local oscillator frequency plus minus your IF frequency. Or that is equal to your say signal frequency plus minus uh, twice of your IF frequency. So here so you are having the relation between your image frequency, local oscillator frequency, IF frequency, and the signal frequency. We can also find your IF frequency as IF frequency is equal to your local oscillator frequency minus signal frequency when your local oscillator frequency is greater than your signal frequency. Your IF frequency will be your signal frequency minus local oscillator frequency if uh, your signal frequency is greater than your uh, local oscillator frequency. Okay. Now, uh, say IF frequency you are drawing. Let us assume that your IF frequency is uh, 450 kHz and your uh, local oscillator frequency, it will be the genetic frequency of your uh, say 8000 kHz, then what will be your signal frequency? Use the formula from there and you can calculate. 7550 kilohertz. Okay. So in both the cases, your local 